Hello, my name is Bethel Hindasi. I have been a tech educator for the past three years and a tech entrepreneur since I was nine years old. in a city uh, called Hara, which is found in the eastern part of uh, Ethiopia. But then I moved to Addis after I was 10 years old. I started coding professionally, I think I would say when I was 12 years old, because once I came to Addis from Hara, I, I joined a government agency called INSA, and I was able to find mentors and actually work on real life projects there. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually, I was supposed to be a third year software engineering student, but uh, I stopped. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm announcing that now. Huh? This is my first time telling that I'm a dropout. So, yeah. Exclusive content. <laughs> When I was still in Harar, I was like nine years old, and then I was trying to celebrate my birthday. So I asked my father for some money, but he was busy. So what I did was I edited some videos, I copied some music to people's phones, and I made some money. So I figured this is something new. Uh, I, I can also make some money out of it. So I figured this is something I should really learn. So it was at a very early stage, everyone was trying to get into computer and technology. So I thought uh, having the first mover advantage would be great. So that's when I first figured that I would be uh, using tech and be involved in the tech scene. Here at the ICOG office today, we have Solvit 2019 participants showing their prototypes. Solvit is a nationwide innovation competition happening in 15 cities in Ethiopia. For the past three months, we've been trying to explore different techniques of growing a plant uh, using hydroculture. Hydroculture is the growing of plants uh, without the use of soil. So after conducting a lot of research and speaking to many experts, we've decided that aeroponics is the best technique for us. So as comparing to aeroponics with the traditional way of growing plants using soil, aeroponics is, uh, is the use of nutrient solutions uh, instead of the nutrients in soil. So there's no soil, there's no pests, anything disease related to soil and any other stuff. Um, in addition to that, the lighting system is also uh, powered by itself, so sunlight is not really mandatory. So with ICOG, uh, I have partnered to work on two projects. One is called ICOG Anyone Can Code, which focuses on teaching young children from age 8 to 18 on the basics of coding and robotics. And the other one is called Solve It, as the name suggests, is solving your community problems uh, by the local people. So it's more of democratizing technology, since it's from ICOG, which is uh, from us, by the people and for the people. So. I'm currently engaged in two of these projects. The reason that we started, of course, to educate and build the human capital, not only in Ethiopia, but in Africa, but also the other thing that we saw is the technology bias that is being created, because especially not a lot of women are involved and also not a lot of people of color. So when you see uh, AI development and robotics development, it's usually limited to people who are living in the Western countries and usually men. So we wanted to find a way so that we'll be able to educate and build the human capital in AI and robotics so that they, these people of African descent can contribute to these technologies. We're not only trying to teach children how to be computer scientists, but to be innovators and be problem solvers.
Now we're at Rice International School where I Cook Anyone Can Code after school program is being held. Now we'll meet one of our brightest students from this after school program. Let's go. My name is Soteria Dawit. I'm 12 years old. I learn in ICOG as an after school program and I've learned how to code in a simple way. Now the thing I really enjoyed making in ICOG was when I made a project for my mother at, for my graduation in ICOG. I made a simple but it was kind of difficult to make. I was making a place as called Scratch Town where the scratch cat, the main cat as you see over here, would walk around and show you around the place. I added three buildings that it would go enter. I had a theater, a maths palace, and a game galore. In these three places, you would do three different things that were really amazing. So instead of ourselves fixing the problems, we believe in actually giving uh, the people the chance to fix their problems. So we give them the tools and the necessary resources to uh, come with innovations that would, uh, you know, solve the problems that are currently happening in the country. Ethiopia has a population of around 110 million people. So there are 110 million and even more problems. So we believe that uh, educating the youth and helping them come up with their problems and helping those problems change to businesses is what we're trying to do instead of solving the problems directly. <laughs>